You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers from Monday, April 8th, all the way through Friday, April 19th, which is going to take us almost into May sweeps, and certainly everything going on these two weeks is building up to that big point. We're going to dig right in, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. So let's get started on Monday, April 8th, 2024. Teresa runs into her fellow gold digger, Constantine and they catch up on how each of them are doing. Remember Alex Kidiakis invited Teresa to move back in with him and said they could try things being platonic and Constantine has a brand new angle to work on Maggie so they both get their hands on the fortune. For some reason Constantine seems to think that Teresa is his backup plan like that if he can't get part of the Kidiakis fortune that she can and she'll I guess give it to him when he blackmails her. We'll see how it goes. Brady talks to Alex about Teresa. Brady is finding himself increasingly tempted by her, even though he knows it's a very, very bad idea. So he may be trying to suss out whether Alex is getting ready to th- take things to the next level with her or if they really are done. Maggie talks to Julie and catches her up on things that have been happening with Constantine. And John talks to Harris. He's got questions for the ex Navy SEAL and ex Demand era brainwashed killer about why he was at the mental hospital and whether it helped him because that is something they have in common. Both John and Harris were Demera pet killers for quite a while before John as the pawn was turned over to Victor Kidiakis. Steve has a confession that he makes to Kayla and that takes us to Tuesday, April 9th. Clyde reaches out to Ava. Of course, he's hiding out with Officer Goldman, his underage and evil and awful girlfriend and he wants Ava to go over to the bistro and get something for him that he hid there and deliver it to him. Kristen argues with EJ about Stefan's arrest. She isn't happy about how he has treated their brother. And EJ argues with his stepdaughter, Holly Jonas. Holly is on fire about EJ. Remember, she said some really nasty things to her mother about EJ. So everything is coming to a head in the household. Abe supports Paulina when she gets ready to do that iodine treatment. And then she has to do the home isolation for a little bit. And she's a little nervous about it. Chanel and Johnny head to the Horton cabin. Remember, Sarah Horton offered that to them. They're ready to kick off their honeymoon, but things are going to go off the rails. Trip and Wendy get out to the park to have some exercise and try to clear the air as she struggles with PTSD in the wake of their near deaths. Technically, they were dead for a couple of minutes. Wednesday, April 10th, we've got Kristen at the Demera Mansion laying into Holly Jonas when she sees her talking to Rachel. She does not want Holly anywhere near her daughter. She is so furious about what she did to Tate Black, which is understandable. But then Nicole shows up and she and Kristen get into a nasty, nasty fight. Kristen and Nicole have such a messy history with Brady in the mix, Eric in the mix, the masks in the mix. So this is going to turn nearly violent and they have to be pulled off each other. Sarah is desperate to help Xander figure out who framed him now that they've shown Rafe the evidence that no, he wasn't the shooter. He has been framed, but it's not enough to exonerate him. He wants to know who did this to him and why. And you can understand because he doesn't want his, you know, sweet life with his woman and his daughter interrupted later in case this person comes back around. Eric has that letter from the landlord talking about Sloan missing their rent payment and wants to know what's going on with her money situation. I'm guessing she might be his sugar mama. I don't think Eric Eric's making that much money as a photographer and he needs her to pay that rent. Jada goes to Stephanie again, pushing and prodding at her and wants to know if she has still got feelings for Bob Everett Stein. Everett, meanwhile, goes back to see Marlena. Looks like he needs some help and maybe we're going to have some more hypnosis. I feel like Bobby's going to make an appearance soon. Thursday, April 11th, Holly and Tate get out for a picnic. And again, we're seeing the new Tate, Leo Howard. 
And I just wonder if this is them breaking rules or, you know, are they sneaking out to do it? We'll see. Constantine has his new plan ready to go and he tells Maggie he is facing a green card eviction from the country. He thinks he is going to talk her into some kind of green card romance. Stephanie talks to Everett and asks him why he didn't sign the divorce papers and Everett flips out on her. We have him doing Doing this little rage moment, it seems like sweet Everett is losing control and mean, mean Bobby might be coming to the surface. Meanwhile, Ava is very worried about the new demands that Clyde is placing on her and turns to Harris for comfort. And Steve apologizes to Kayla. And of course, this week, Kayla also chews out John about this whole situation with Steve. Friday, April 12th, we've got Johnny and Chanel enjoying their honeymoon. They're having champagne. They're getting undressed. They're getting ready to do the deed. And somebody busts into the cabin to interrupt them. We also have Xander talking to Chad Demera. He wants the spectator to investigate the frame job that was done against him in regards to Harris Michael shooting. And Constantine is trying to charm Maggie into marrying him. So this green card thing doesn't become a problem, but this guy is just a scammer. And Paulina is losing patience and snaps angrily at Abe because she can't stand being sequestered at home while she rides out the after effects of the iodine treatment. The second week is April 15th through the 19th. And again, that takes us right up to the cusp of May sweeps, which kicks off the following week on Thursday, the 25th. So just a quick note, I've told you guys that Bill Hayes last seen as Doug Williams airs on July 11th. And now we have another big comeback for Doug's funeral, which is airing later this fall. I told you already that Julie Williams' brother, Stephen Olson, is back. Of course, he's played by Stephen Schnatzer. And now, big drum roll, Gloria Loring is going to be back as Liz Chandler. We've not seen her on days since 1986. I was not watching back then, but I know a lot of you guys probably were. So, you might remember that she used to own what's now known as Doug's Place, but, and I think they've, have they tweaked the name since then? Doug and Julie's? Anyway, but it was renamed Blondie's back when Liz owned it. And she had many interactions with Doug because at one point, Stefano DeMera was using her to spy on Doug for him. So I wonder if we are going to get even more exciting returns and surprises for Doug's funeral, which of course is going to be a huge tribute to legacy actor Bill Hayes and all his decades playing Doug Williams. So back to the two-week spoilers. Johnny and Chanel's honeymoon goes off the rails thanks to the cabin intruder on Smith Island, presumably Clyde Weston, who is on the lam. And he has air dates this week and next. And he's going to be so excited to stumble over EJ Damara's son because that gives him leverage over the DA. And there is no telling what he's going to demand. Constantine suffers a big setback boo who he was hoping to run this green card marriage con on Maggie but it looks like she sidesteps any matrimonial plans and instead volunteers to have some of her contacts work on the green card issue Eric and Sloan hit a rough patch as she struggles to keep the baby secret hidden her financial woes from paying Leo's blackmail demands have her stretched financially thin and Eric has figured out that something is going on and it seems to be harder and harder for her to talk her way out of explaining why she's broke and other issues. The baby secret looks like it is set to explode in May sweeps and Nicole will get her baby back. That kicks off the week after this one on the 25th, as I said. So big, big stuff happening, especially in week two of the next two weeks. Hey, that's all of our two week spoilers. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see and be sure and come back every single day because we are here talking days of our lives seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 